Hey, hello there, TVET. Just a little video just to help people that might have missed last week. So we introduced another new subject, organise work priorities. This unit or this subject that I want to introduce based on the ABC Haywire competition. So I don't know if you're familiar, certainly if you were here last week you heard about Haywire, but if you missed, that's why I'm just doing this little video as a catch up. Haywire is basically a story competition or a storytelling competition for young people in regional New South Wales and we fit into regional New South Wales in our area. The way it works is that it's about young people submitting a story to to the ABC website. The way that stories are that can be made, they can be written stories, so 400 words max, they can be an audio story, so you write your story, then you voice record it, and that's um, roughly around a two minute story that you'd be looking at. I think it's between two to three minutes of audio, or you could go video, again, it's between two to three minutes for a video, or you could do a uh, series of photographs. I think it's around eight to 10 photographs, and you would write some stuff around each photograph in telling your story that way. With our assessment, we're going to use the guidelines or parameters that the Haywire competition uses, and we're getting you to individually create a story, and I'll talk a little bit about that in a second. Uh, we're not requiring you, we don't, we're not going to make you submit to Haywire, but if you could, that'd be good. Anyway, in the first instance, there's a couple of questions in the assessment around considering the legal, ethical considerations. So things like not using other people's names or identifying information if you're telling a story that involves telling a story that includes bits and pieces about other people. So being mindful of that and not breaking any laws around discrimination or, or prejudice, that sort of stuff. So no, no language that would be considered offensive to um, groups or other people in the community or society. They're the two main ones that I can think of. In terms of planning your story, there's some really good examples uh, on high, Haywire that I did show last week and the presenter from ABC that we had as a guest last week also showed some really good examples. From memory, there was a, a good um, story about a young fella from around our local area, it might have been Qatar or Adamstown, he spoke about the importance of basketball in his life and how that had uh, made a difference to him, developing his mental health and, and ability to, to feel good and cope, coping skills, so all around uh, his love of basketball. There was a story that we saw from the ABC uh, presenter around a young guy that really got into dancing in his rural community and overcame some of the perhaps stereotypes or prejudices around his love of dance and to the, got to the point in his story that uh, he included a bunch of his mates and they uh, put together a little uh, number, a dance number. I think it was like a formal school formal and uh, they did a dance uh, number that they rehearsed for. There was a story about a young guy and some body image stuff around his chest and how you know he was having trouble, you know, I guess uh, feeling comfortable with his body. And then you know the story is about how he was able to, I guess, adapt his thinking and and become comfortable with that. There was a story about a, a young woman, young girl, and her love of the beach and the ocean and swimming and the, how that helped her mental health, I guess, in, in terms of coping. And I think she was also coming to terms or dealing with um, autism. So, and how, how the ocean, and that was her, her safe place and that helped her feel uh, more grounded or, or more, I guess, more complete. There, there are a few examples off the top of my head. But I guess where we're going to start with this project is you guys, you know, starting to draft a written story of around 400 words and then, you know, just checking that and reviewing it, maybe sharing it with a classmate or, or myself and just making maybe, you know, any feedback and whether you take that on board or not is up to you. But just getting a chance to, to um, feedback and I'll talk a little bit about how to give a good feedback to be part of this process. And then, you know, once you've got your, your story drafted and, and then written, you might think about whether it's a, a good opportunity to voice record. I would encourage people to voice record if you can. Um, you, again, I'm no pressure to submit to Haywire, but I just think it's a good way of capturing your story if you use your own voice. And then you could take it to another level. You might have a few photographs that you could um, layer over the top and that helps tell that story as well. You know, there's just uh, some extra considerations about how far you go with that. But I think a voice recording would be very good. There is some stuff around career development. so. I guess the thing about Haywire, there are winners, if you do su submit, there are winners chosen and those winners go to Canberra with a bunch of young people uh, who are also winners and then you workshop ideas to improve your community and come up with projects that can be put in place in your community. But uh, I guess what we're looking at is you know, what skills you're going to be using in terms of developing your 
your haywire or your short story about a, a moment in your life, if you like. But it's reflecting on the skills that you used in developing your story and then looking at the skills that you would use in Haywire and then coming up at the final point is some sort of career development, some sort of career development plan, how to get the skills, extra skills that you may not have uh, at this point but you would like to get in terms of um, yeah, developing your your career. A better place, you know, whatever that is, could be future study, future work or a bit of both. All right, hopefully that makes sense as a bit of a quick intro. Um, Turtle pips. The world is a place of diversity. Let's get rid of adversity. Share a bit of empathy. So the world's a better place for you and me. We're talking about equality. It's all about diversity. You and me, community. So all of us get on the bus. Shed the skin of status and wealth. It's what's within your mindful self A path to a better mental health It's all about well-being Shed some light on the darker days Have faith that we can change our ways All that matters anyway We're all human beings Sexism, racism, it's time to stop The criticism, religion, a matter of opinion Inclusiveness can undo all the mess your faith can bless someone else's stress So a peace bomb will launch it Love and respect Everyone's included Culture, gender, whatever We're all in this together Please friends, don't shut me out I know I have a disability But I need your friendship I need your help Don't want to be alone Instead I would like to inspire and learn Selfless soul is mindful and grateful Always being kind, never hateful Living life in harmony Straight to the truth, coming together Through a community, let's create some unity The world is a place of diversity Let's get rid of adversity Share a bit of empathy So the world's a better place for you and me I'm talking about equality It's all about diversity You and me, community So all of us get on the bus